simply sublime, excellently skilled Terrence Bud Crawford. We are underway for the world title fight. Crawford and Horn. And let it be noted, Robert Bird, the third man inside the rope. Distance. Every time Horn steps in, he gets out just far enough, and he tries to counter just like right there. Getting after it pretty early. He lunges in just like that with his head. Oh, Horn comes in with a right hand that lands flush on Crawford. A looping right hand and caught Crawford bagging out. Right comes there back again. in and there's Crawford that does check that right hand hook from that southpaw position. <laughs> Pretty good looking opening rounds here. Good exchange there as Crawford able to land. Stronger guy. Undoubtedly a bigger guy. Naturally the bigger man. Fighter, thus the left hand that landed moments ago with the reaction time of Crawford. It's a left hand that comes. There are holes and opportunities. He can't get greedy though. Horn will fire back at him. There's on him, the book on Jeff Horn, major motion picture coming out. All that centering on the relationship of trainer to fighter. That time he came forward and Bud nailed him. Right hook. Charging in with a right hand and now they exchange in the middle of the ring. Horn steps back with his hands down to try to reset. And he's in and looks to sort of bully on the inside. There was another right hand from Horn. That Bud Crawford overcame to arrive to this mountain. Straight in his horn again. Right, you get he old, that was three weeks yeah. prior to his December title defense. Defensive flaw. Crawford couldn't take advantage, but a left hand hits the mark. And now a pop jab. And a good left hand and a combination from the... In his hands, moving out at distance, close distance, close range. And Terrence is smart enough to follow him and land that. As the fight go on, fighters, fighters weaken. Bud Crawford later in the fight. It's not... He's not working the box. And if you look at his back, he's a welterweight. Another good lead. And Vasily Lomachenko, who vied for that title to be called the world's best. Tonight would be a crowning achievement to become a three-division champion. If Crawford... On the outside, he wants to stay right in front of him. Block and counter. Block first prop. He, he's befuddled. He's being so thorough. Punch You're seeing with, with Bud Crawford. Now you see what? Well, Crawford don't want to be here. If he's there, he wants to be there. He shouldn't be on the ropes like that. Is testing Horn Soul. He's pushing him around. You can see that redness above the right eye as he sends back Horn. Crawford's in control here in round five. Up against the limits of his size and his age. Right now, Horn is coming up, at least against Crawford, the limits of his talent. Price for it now. He's trying. I mean, he's landed a few shots. It's, it's a lot easier said than done, even on the inside. Oh. Yes, and I want to see more body punches from out of Horn right there. Well, you see, no, no, that was no. eight, seven, six, five, six, Halfway through the on ESPN Plus. Oh, oh, one corner of Crawford. Bomek just wants Terrence to keep working that body. Thing to happen. Yes. They need that miracle. They need to find that magic that they found somehow late against Pacquiao. But this isn't Manny Pacquiao in the autumn of the See, everything is all set up by the jab from Crawford. Lead left hand from Crawford. Goes. And then as Horn stepped for judging this fight ringside. I don't think it's going to come down to the subject of so much debate. What would Robert do? Unofficial judge, and he sees a... And he did. Left hands all night long. Now orthodox is Buck Crawford. There is the left hook. And that left hook is deadly. There it is as it backs up Jeff. Ball's best. Occasionally, Crawford will lay on his... See him lay on that left side. Punching between punches and a flush left hand, and here comes Bud on the attack. Half a minute to go in round eight. Can he finish him? Left hand king just. Oh, nearly floored him there. Jeff Horn. With a Will he see, soon be a three division champion? With a round like that in evidence. If you're Glenn Rushton and you love your fighter, how long do you let this thing go on? Decision. 
good point, but if there's no sting. That's the beauty about boxing. Only takes one punch. He has been thoroughly dominated. Takes his one go of it. <laughs> and he's still coming forward. And Crofton to him. He knows that he doesn't have the power on his punches like he did. Warner to at least factor that in. I don't think we're there yet. Terrence is sharpshooting right now. 